The only time it'll show a pie chart is if I'm doing a poll or a survey. Can we do a survey? So it doesn't do the pie chart. Number one, you would have multiplied both sides by three, and you'd have had y is less than or equal to 36. The only one that's less than or equal to 36 is d. In number two, you would have divided both sides by two. X would have had to have been greater than three. The only one that's greater than three is D. In number three, you would have added four to both sides. You'd have had a negative two X is less than or equal to 15. You'd have had to divide both sides by a negative two. But when I divide by a negative, I have to flip my inequality symbol. Which is why the correct answer for this one is C. Number four, I'd have added six to both sides. I'd have had a negative two X is less than or equal to seven. I would again divided by both sides by a negative two. I would have had to flip my inequality. Negative seven halves, or I could have written a negative three and a half or 3.5. The only number then that would not satisfy this, negative 3 is greater, negative 2 is greater, negative 1 is greater, but negative 4 is less. So the correct answer would have been A. Okay? Okay. There is the answers for the first 8 from your homework. I will gladly go over any part of them that I need to go over. You don't need to put them up yet. Okay. Number seven. You had a negative seven y is less than or equal to 14. If I want to get y by itself, it's being multiplied by a negative seven. I have to divide by a negative seven. The minute I divide by a negative, what do I have to do to my inequality? I've got to flip it over. This is going to now be greater than or equal to, and negative 7 into 14 is a negative 2. Because it can be equal, it's a filled in circle. Because it's getting greater, my line is going to go to the right. Are there others from the first eight that I need to work out? Yes. By the way, if somebody needs to work one out, don't accept the peer pressure that's being given from the front row. <laughs> Number nine, for a scientific experiment, a physicist must make sure that the temperature of a metal at zero degrees Celsius gets no colder than a negative 80. Can it be equal to a negative 80? Yes. Can it be less than a negative 180? No. No. It has to get greater. Okay. The physicist changes the metal temperature at a steady rate of negative 4 degrees per hour. So I'm taking a negative 4 times my amount of time. It has to be greater than or equal to a negative 80. If I divide both sides by a negative 4, it would tell me that t has to be less than or equal to, I have to flip that inequality, 20. That's how you find part b. You solve it. It tells me that it's got to be 20 hours or less. Because if it's more than 20 hours, what's going to happen to the temperature? It's going to drop below negative 80. Part C asked me how long would the physicists have to cool the metal for this to happen. So it's going to have to be more than 20 hours. Why couldn't this one be equal? What would the temperature be if it was exactly 20 hours? What type? Negative 80 degrees. 
That's what temperature it would be. So if it goes more than 20 hours, it's going to be colder than a negative 80 degree. Okay? Well, for this experiment, that would be a what? A bad thing. Number 10 was the essential question from yesterday. If you don't understand the only time that you're going to reverse the inequality, then you miss the point of yesterday's lesson altogether. All the rules of inequalities are the same as equality with this one exception. If you multiply or divide by a negative, then you have to reverse that inequality symbol. All the other rules for addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division are the same. It's just that if I multiply or divide by a negative, that I have to reverse the inequality. Pretty good with number 10? There's 11 through 16. Okay, number 11, to get x by itself, where it says x minus 35 is greater than 15. You would have added 35 to both sides. When I did that, it would give me x is greater than 50. Open circle on the 50. It's getting greater, so it's going to go to the right. For number 12, it says 193 plus y is greater than or equal to 201. I want to get the y by itself. I've got to get rid of the 193. I would subtract it. It's going to leave y is greater than or equal to 8. It's a filled in circle on the 8 this time because it can be equal to it. And because it's getting greater, I'm going to go to the right. Number 13 is probably one of the most missed questions, and there's a couple reasons that it is. Yeah, but it's not really a fraction. A fraction is nothing more than what? A division problem. Okay, how do we get rid of division? Multiplication. This is the part where people get confused. I know that I need to multiply by 7, but because this was negative, I need to multiply by a negative 7. But the minute I multiply by a negative, what do I got to do to my inequality? I've got to flip it. So this is now Q is less than or equal to a negative times a negative makes a positive. So it's going to be a filled in circle on 7 because it can be equal. And since it's getting smaller, I'm going to be going to the left. Number 14 says negative 12x is less than 60. x is being multiplied by negative 12, so I have to divide both sides by a negative 12. If I'm dividing by a negative, my inequality has to be flipped. And negative 12 into 60 is going to be a negative 5. <coughs> Open circle on negative 5. It's getting bigger, so it's going to the right. Number 15 says 5 is greater than z minus 3. I would have added 3 to both sides. 8 is greater than z. This is the same thing when you look at it over here, where it says z is less than 8. It's the same thing. If I look at my inequality, it says my z is getting smaller than 8. It's going to have an open circle on the 8, and it's going to be going to the left. Number 16 
says 0.5 is less than or equal to y divided by 8. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. Multiplication. So I'd multiply both sides by 8. Half of 8 is 4. I didn't multiply or divide by a negative. Y then is greater than or equal to 4, or you could have 4 is less than or equal to Y. It's the same thing. It would have a filled in circle on the 4, and the line would be going to the right. That answer everybody's questions. There's 17 and 18. 17 would have actually been set up by doing 12 plus X is less than or equal to 28. Number 18 would have been 3.5 times 7 would have had to have been less than actually greater than X. I don't know how I did it. I just did 3.5 times 7. This came up to 24.5 Five. But it said that combined weights couldn't be what? Each kitten weighed three and a half ounces or less, so they had to be less than 24.5. 7x is greater than 3.5. 7x is greater than 3.5. Would not work because you'd end up dividing by 7. It should have been x divided by 7 had to be greater than, uh, should be less than what? 3.5. It is. The entire weight of all seven kits, kittens can't be more than what? Listen. If it's asking for all the different combinations, you do that by saying any non-zero weight all the way up to what? 24.5. That gives you all the combinations because it's a range, right? Number 19 could have been set up with 6x is less than or equal to 42. 20 could have been set up with the inequality 30.25 plus x is greater than or equal to 50. Mm -hmm. Or you could have written that x was less than or equal to 7 or I could have written x was greater than or equal to 19.75 but the answer isn't just what? It's not just 7, right? It's got to be at most 7, so 7 or less. If you did not write at most? Yeah. Yes. Because it's the way the question has to be answered. It's not strict. It's not, it can't just be equal to 7. It's kind of like, what's $25 minus $24? And you just say 1, but don't put the dollar. That's a little different. If I said, how much more does the person need? If it was one dollar, they need one dollar more. That's fine. But at least how much more does the person need? One or more dollars then, right? So it depends on how the question is worded. These are definitely inequalities, so there's a range of answers that are correct. And you're excluding some of that range if you don't put in at most or at least or put the inequality symbol in your figure. Number 21 
could have been set up by doing 15.5 times x is greater than or equal to 170.5. And 22, they actually have set up for you negative 12t is less than a negative 120. Any further explanation on 21 or 22? 22. Okay. It says a submarine descends from sea level, which is at zero, to the entrance of an underwater cave. The elevation of the entrance is a negative 120 feet. The rate of change in the submarine's elevation is no greater than a negative 12 feet per second. So a negative 12 times time is going to be less than a negative 120. If I divide both of these by a negative 12, it's going to show that t is going to be greater than 10, because I had to flip the inequality. The question was, could they do it in Less than 10 seconds, yes or no? No, they could not. In fact, they couldn't even do it equal to what? 10 seconds. Had to be more than 10 seconds to get there. Okay? I want to talk about my website real quick again, especially for Grant if you didn't know this. Okay? I've made some small changes to it small changes. You're going to notice that the first nine weeks is no longer there. We're in the second nine weeks, so there's less to look at, so you don't have to sit there and go through a bunch. Obviously, the recording from yesterday is on there, but today's is not yet. But something that I added is you'll see a homework calendar. If I pull this up, and I go to this week, let's say you go home and you've forgotten the worksheet that you're going to get today. <laughs> let's say you've left it here at school. Go to my website, and down here where the worksheet is, it'll pull up the worksheet. So you can print it at home. Okay? I don't have a pen. You have a smartphone. You can look it up on your phone and do every individual question by looking at it. You don't have to print it to look at the question and write it down. Okay. Listen. Something else that I added. Not for me. I added it for you. You know how sometimes you can go to places like Yahoo Answers, you can post questions, look things up. I added a place where you can post a question for other people to answer. Okay? It's not there it's not there for me to answer questions. It's there for other students to provide help. Now the only way that's gonna work is if other people go and do what? They've gotta look at it. Okay? But it sends me a notification. And you can set it up so that it'll send you a notification when you post something. It's going to ask for your email address. Okay? You can do it anonymously, but if you do it anonymously, you won't know unless you go back and look to check. Okay? Now, I put that not there for me. Who did I put it there for? For the cat. I put it there for you guys to benefit you. The only way it'll benefit you is if you use it. Lane? Yes, we're going to like that website.